Hi, Pat Ham here. And in this Reason Jam session, I want to show you a quick trick that I use to mute audio. Here I have a six track project, just a quick and dirty guitar part that I threw together. Let's have a quick listen to it. And as you can see, I'm using blocks. So muting with blocks is actually really easy. You click on the mute tool by clicking here or by pressing the T and you simply click on what you want to mute. And that audio is grayed out. And as you can see, or as you can hear, that audio does not play. If I'm muting with blocks and I only want to mute part of it, I also have the razor tool. I can split my blocks up. So let's say, for example, I only want the three guitars in the main guitar part to play for the first two measures. I can split this and I can use the mute tool to mute just the stabs. So now I have the stabs back starting on measure three. But let's undo that. Not all of us use blocks. Traditionally, if we want to automate something in Reason, we will create an automation lane for it. So for example, if I want to automate mutes on the bass guitar, I can right click on mute and click on edit automation. What's even better actually, is I can hold down the Alt key and click on the Mute button. Either way, it will create for me a mute lane. So now I use my pencil tool to draw a clip in. And then my Select tool to double click it so that I can actually edit and then go back to the pencil. And then just add one quick node right at the top, which means that the value is one. Um, for a button, it can be either zero or one. And this will turn my mute on for me. Let's go back to the selection tool. Click out of that. And now we hear. No bass. I can make it shorter if I want to, if I want the bass to come in a little bit later. This is the traditional way that we automate, not just in Reason, but in all DAWs. Every DAW has a way to automate. It's an automation lane or an automation track, some type of automation channel on that track that you can use to control automation. But in the case of mutes, this actually isn't fast enough for me. If we look at my project, I've got six channels here. But realistically, my projects are going to have 20, 30, 40 channels. So I don't want to have all these automation lanes. I want to do whatever I can to make my project easier for me to see. So let's get rid of this automation lane. And I will show you a really quick way to automate mutes. Let's disengage this mute. Make sure that we have our music playing the way we want it. So what I do when I have to do quick mutes, for example, if I want a part to come in late or if I want a part to be muted just for one section, is I will use the pencil tool and just simply draw an empty clip over that area. I'll start with snapping. And let's say I want to only start with one guitar.
just draw an empty clip over the other tracks. And of course, I like to be organized, so I will name this using add labels to clips. And I will just simply call it mute. Now, since I have an empty clip, nothing plays. This just took a few mouse clicks for me to set up this one muted section. But now I can use this all over my project. Holding down the Alt key and dragging drags a copy of that clip. So I now have a mute here at the beginning of this second instance of block one. I could drag it all over the place. Again, holding down Alt. In the meantime, I can shut off Snap using the S button. If I need to kind of fine tune my mute, So this is the way that I mute quick and dirty stuff, just by adding in an empty clip. Now this is not just something that you can do on blocks. If I go over to the block, I can see the original audio that I'm playing. So if I listen to that, That's where my original audio is, and I can do the exact same trick directly on the audio clip. Go to your pencil tool, which is the W key, and snapping on or off, depending on how you need to do this, but I'll turn it off now just because I need to fine tune it, and I'll just cover over this area. Again, I like to right click it, add labels to clips, and call this mute. And then that's it. I'm done. All the work is done. And from here on out, I just hold down Alt and drag it when I need another mute somewhere else. Going a little bit crazy here, but hopefully you get the idea. Pull the handle at the beginning, pull the handle at the end if you need to make it shorter or longer. But the key is to just hold down Alt and copy the mute wherever you need it. So I only did this one time. So I'm not actually automating anything. I'm just removing the audio using an empty clip. Sounds a little bit silly, but hopefully you can get the idea about how easy this trick can be. One thing to keep in mind about this trick is, let's move over here, you can see I have a copy of one of my tracks here. Now I wanna mute the beginning of this. Let me move it over, make a little bit more room. And I wanna mute the beginning using the same exact trick. So I click on my pencil tool, again that is the W key, and I will just start dragging I want to remove what's at the very beginning. So I'll start at the beginning. We can turn off snap for this. I'll just start right here. And look what happens to my clip. As you can see, the clip is going behind my audio. And if I move this out of the way, let's snap it again. If we move this out of the way, you can see the clip that I just drew. So if you need to mute audio at the very beginning, this trick will not work. But that's not a problem. What I can simply do is, pull this out of the way and make a little bit more space for myself. But what I can simply do is drag out the beginning of the clip. Now, once I start playing this, you will hear where my audio starts because I have not yet applied a noise gate to this guitar. So you'll start to hear the noise show up.
But before the noise started to play, you'll notice that there was just utter silence. When you drag a clip past the recording area, it just creates silence. So now I can use my trick again. I can drag this down here. Now, of course, this is not a realistic application because since I'm using guitar, I would not use this trick to get rid of string noise. I would use a noise gate. But just to illustrate this point, I have now dragged this mute to after the clip starts and it works again. So, instant noise gate. So if I drag this mute out past the beginning, look what happens. Any clip that comes after takes priority. So since this mute came before this clip, the audio clip takes priority. So my mute doesn't work. You have to make sure if you're going to use this trick that your mutes start after the clip you are muting started. Seems really simple. This is probably something you guys are already doing. At least I hope so. Otherwise, I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know if, what you think about this little trick and if you think you're, you're going to use it in your music productions. Thanks a lot. You guys have a good day. Talk to you soon.